Hello and welcome to this video. I will be checking out the cross compatibility of two different 4Q based systems to see if they can work alongside each other and whether the remote controls are interchangeable. On the right we have my trusty DB04R. This is at the more expensive end of 4Q systems because it has more programming options. On the left we have a system typical of what you'd buy if you instead went for the cheapest system possible. Clearing the desk then down to just one module from each system, you'll see also that I've got bulbs in place of igniters in the queue so we can see what's going on. It's worth pointing out as well that the cheaper system here, the remote control doesn't have an on off switch, which is a useful safety feature. The more expensive remote controls do. That means that once you put the battery in this remote control on the left, the buttons are permanently live. So you need to be aware of that once you've armed your system. Looking at the default behaviour then of each system, let's power up and see what happens. On the left, no surprises, one, two, three and four on the remote activates the bulbs one to four. And on the right, the DBO4R does the same thing. So we can answer a question straight off. That's will these systems work alongside each other? In the case of these two, yes, they will. Pressing, for example, two on the system on the left activates Q2 on the left system and pressing 2 on the DB04R activates Q2 on the DB04R. So no worries about one remote control setting off the other. However, hopefully we can program it to do exactly that. Looking at basic programming then, the cheaper system only has one recess programming button which is there. This actually performs the same function as this button here, the reset button on the DB04R. If we turn the cheaper system over, you'll see there are no other buttons to program individual queues, whereas the DB04R has got lots of flexibility in the way you program it. So that is one difference between these two systems. What I'm going to do then is show you how this button works with regards just to this system on its own. So you push it in and hold it until the LED starts to blink. We're now in programming mode. The only thing it appears you can do with this is to press a button on a remote control and you then assign a sequence of four buttons to the queues one to four here. So if I now press five on this remote control, notice as well that when I did that, the queue actually went off. Be aware of that. Never ever program these systems whilst you've got fireworks connected. So now on the remote control on the left, buttons one, two, three and four don't do anything, but five, six, seven, eight, fire queues one to four, 9, 10, 11 and 12 don't do anything. So the purpose of this button is when you've got a system like I showed you at the start of this video with three of these modules, you can then assign each group of four, that's each module, to a set of four buttons on your remote control. What I'm going to do now is just pop this back to its default setting. Looking now at what would happen if we put the DBO4R into programming mode and assign it to this remote control on the left. So now if I press one on the left remote control, you'll see that the bulbs on both systems on number one will go off. So effectively what I've done is I have paired up these two systems together. In case you see an overlap of these going off, I'll explain this at the end because it's another observation I've made. But just to run through that again, press one, Q1 on both systems goes off, so it is possible to run the DB04R off the remote control from the cheaper system. Let me just reset this back to normal and we'll try something different. So I've reset the systems. I'm now going to try putting this into programming mode on the left and pressing 1 on the DB04R remote. So effectively what we've done is the same thing. We've paired these two together, however, off the right hand remote control, so cues one to four fire there. What I'm going to do now is show you a bit of flexibility that you get with the DB04R, which I suspect would be the same with any system like this where you've got individual programming buttons that you don't seem to have on this system on the left. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to program each individual queue on the DB04R to activate on button 5 on the left hand remote control. So 
So I've assigned the four cues on the DB04R to one single button on this remote. So if I press one, two, three, and four now on the DB04R remote, nothing happens on either system. On this remote control on the left, one, two, three, and four has already been assigned to these. But if I press five, you'll see the DB04 fires all four cues because they've been assigned to this button. So the DB04R effectively has a fire all mode by assigning everything to one button. I can't see a way of doing that, unfortunately, on this cheaper system. Another thing you might want to do is turn two different makes of four cue systems into one eight cue system. Is that possible? Yes, that is. So at the moment, we've got two systems each firing from buttons one to four on their respective remote controls. If I put the one on the left into programming mode, and assign that to button five on the DB04R remote. Now, the, the remote control on the left serves no purpose, the buttons don't work. However, if we look at the right-hand side, one, two, three, and four operate the DB04R, and then five, six, seven, and eight operate this system here. So we've turned this into an 8Q system running off this remote. If you did this the other way around and press the reset button on the DB04R and then button five on this remote, you would effectively make this an 8Q system running off this remote instead. So you can do it either way around. Finally, one observation I have made with the cheaper system is if you want to fire all four cues simultaneously, as there's no fire all button, you might be tempted to press one, two, three, and four very quickly. However, I've noticed that as soon as you press the next button in the sequence, the previous cue, the previous light goes out. It's almost as if this cheaper system only wants to output to one cue at a time. So if I do one, two, three, and four, hopefully you'll see that on the video, but only one bulb is lit at the same time. If I do the same thing on the DB04R, you'll see it puts out the same long pulse to each cue, irrespective of whether another cue is firing. So by the end of this, all four bulbs are actually alight at the same time. The significance of this is if you're using Talon igniters, which do need quite a long pulse. If you were to fire four quickly on this system, I don't think three of them, the first three, would have long enough of a pulse to fire, whereas on the DB04R they would. So if you want to fire multiple Talons at the same time on this system, I'd recommend, recommend wiring them up to run off one cue rather than trying to fire multiple cues quickly. Well, that's all from me. I hope you found this video useful. If you've got either of these systems and have any questions, by all means, let me know, and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching.